welcome back and today we are going to learn a very simple project again creating simple calculator in scratch so for step one we need to design the basic structure so for designing the basic structure we have to click here on backdrops and in backdrop we are going to make the basic structure so let us fill any color so whichever color you want to take you can now using the text tool write here the word calculator change the color and write calculator click and drag it to make the size bigger now we have to insert five buttons for addition subtraction multiplication division and clear for that click on new sprite choose button click on ok place it here let us increase its size by clicking on grow tool we need more buttons so we will click here on duplicate and make copies of it click here place it here again duplicate Again, duplicate and place it here one more we need and now we are going to add here the text you can add text or you can also draw the symbols that's your choice for doing so click on the button click on its costume you don't need it so click and delete this one and for this you can write the text add next costume delete this you can write its short form for subtraction as sub sub also click on the third button again click on costume and here using the text tool you can write here divide place it here again delete this costume and using the text right here multiply last but not the least for this but write the word clear so we are ready with the basic structure We have to declare here three variables. One will be A for taking the input for first number, B for taking input for the second number, and third will be answer, which will display the answer. So click on data, click on make a variable, write the variable as A, click on OK. The moment you will click on OK, you will see the variable is there on the top left corner. Bring it here. Double click on it to bring a slider. Same we are going to do for the next variable. Click on data, make a variable, write the variable name as B. Click on OK, bring it here. 
double click to bring the slider. Now we want one more variable for storing the answer. So click here on make a variable, name it as answer or ANS, click on OK, bring it here. Now for this we are not going to double click it. We don't want slider here because when two numbers are added or subtracted or divide or multiply, we will get the answer which we will not be changing. Now how to do its script? That is the next step. We want when we click on clear, these numbers which are there in A and B, they should move to zero. So let's see how to write its code. Click on the button clear, click on events, choose when the sprite is clicked, click on data, choose set answer to. Here we will click on drop down and change it to A, bring it one more time. Choose B, bring it one more time and set answer to 0. All the variables will be set to 0 when we click on the sprite clear. Let's see. If I change the number to 63 and let's say here to 69 or 73 and when I click on clear, the slider will move back to zero. So this is done. Now let's see how to write the code for add, subtract, multiply and divide. Now let's see how to add two numbers. Click on sprite, add, click on events, choose when the sprite is clicked, click on data, choose set answer to now here instead of 0, we will be using the operators. Click on the addition operator and place it here. Now instead of these, we are going to add here the variables. So click on data, click on variable A and place it here. Click on B and place it here. Similarly, we are going to do for multiplication, division, subtraction also. So this will be the coding for subtraction. This is for the division. This is for multiplication. So now let's see whether our calculator is working or not. So I am moving the slider to change the number, let's say to 54 and number B to let's say 29. Let's add. Yes, it is adding. Now subtract, divide, multiply and clear. So we are ready with very simple calculator and simple coding. Keep learning, keep exploring. Thanks for watching.